It is back to school for students in the Long Beach Unified School District today. KTLA Zelina Bovian live at Stevens Middle School where classes are currently getting underway this morning. Alina. Jess, good morning. You know, middle school is a big deal. A lot of nerves, especially if you're in that age group, you know, 12, 13, 14. So to have this really cool reception here certainly does take the edge off students coming in today. Uh, where am I going to sit? Who am I going to be friends with? Who's my teacher going to be? All those questions in the air. So it's so nice to have this here just to greet them. The bell just rang so students are inside, but we do have Dr. Jill Baker. She's the superintendent for Long Beach Unified. Good morning to you. Happy first day back. Good morning. Welcome to Long Beach Unified School District on the first day of school. So this celebration, I don't remember ever seeing this in my school growing up. So this is something pretty new, right? Post COVID. Yes, post COVID schools really rolled out the red carpet for their students. And it's something that we see district wide now with signs and school spirit and all of the ways that help students to feel comfortable and excited about coming back to school. And you were telling me earlier, you have sort of a orientation process that goes beyond, you know, the first day, second day, so the kids can really get familiar. Across our system, we support students in making the transition back to school. Specifically, kindergarten students and their families get to come in and meet and greet with their teacher. And then in our middle and high schools, each of them has either a Where Everyone Belongs program for sixth graders. So they come and learn all about their school and get to know other students before the first day of school. And then the link crew across all of our high schools. We see that it really creates a sense of belonging for students before they even set foot on their campus the first day of school. Absolutely. And Long Beach Unified, this is a pretty big school district, 63,000 students, second largest local school district, fourth in the state. What are some new initiatives you have planned for this year? Well, actually, the last few days, our entire school district staff, certificated and classified, has been engaged in wonderful learning experiences around culturally responsive instruction and about affirming classroom and school environments. And so we're excited about that. We're excited to see our wellness centers and all of our secondary schools continue so that we can really elevate wellness, well-being and wellness, along with academic achievement. And so we're excited about those things and many continued interventions for students that have struggled after the pandemic. All right, Dr. Baker, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So you can see over there some parents just dropping off their kids. We will be speaking with them later this morning, but the bell just rang. School is officially in session for 2024-2025. We'll send it back to you.